Well, hi there and welcome to Go Southern Alberta. I'm Christy Pick and today we are up at Panorama Lanes. I know, I get to bowl for work. How good is this? And we are actually going to be talking with Sandy Grass from Big Brothers Big Sisters Medicine Hat because they have their annual Bowl for Kids coming up on March 27th. We're going to find out all about the event, how you could get involved, and possibly how you can get involved with your organization throughout the rest of the year. So stay tuned for that. We're also going to see myself and Sandy bowling. Let's see who's better. Maybe a strike, maybe not. We'll have to find out. But before that, let's see what else is coming up on today's show. So I'm really focusing on being on time, uh, always working towards your goal, cleaning up after yourself, polite and respectful, helping others. Is this the type of student that I want to come to my college or my university? Or is this the type of young person I want to hire for a full-time or part-time job just based upon what it is that they're doing online? We are up at Panorama Lanes today and I am joined by Sandy Grass who's the Executive Director of Big Brothers Big Sisters Medicine Hat and we are here because they have a huge event coming up. It's their annual Bowl for Kids Sake. Sandy, thank you so much for joining oh, thank us. Thank you for having me. Um, bowl for Kids Sake, this is an event that community members love. Who doesn't love bowling? Tell me it's coming up on March 27th. It is our annual Bowl for Kids, March 27th, 4 till midnight for everybody, for families, for employees, for teens, for people that just want to have fun and support a great cause. Okay, so how does this work? People can come up bowling, but there is a fundraising aspect to it. Absolutely. We've been in Medicine Hat for 40 years, and for the last 39, we've been doing Bowl for Kids every year. And every year, Medicine Hat continues to support us and show that we really need it and want it in our community. It is our largest fundraiser of the year. All of the funds stay right here in Medicine Hat, helping us to support the children and family and youth in our community. So what happens is, people that are interested, they, there's a couple of different ways. You can go onto our website, there's a link there to www.bbbsmedhat.kintera.org. And on that website, you can register as a team if you just want to get together with some friends or your family or whatever, coworkers, and then you raise some pledges for we ex we're hoping for about a hundred dollars each person on a team and you just come in and it's free there's pizza there's prizes there's all kinds of fun that you just get to enjoy this wonderful facility here in the in the city okay now medicine hat tends to be a little bit last minute but I understand that hatters have stepped up already and we have yeah. several teams yeah we do uh, this weekend I think we were up to about 15 teams we can hold as many as 70 though okay. so there's lots and lots of room like I said, if you go to that website, it, you can register online, you can pick your time slot, you can pick your, if you want 5-pin or 10-pin, and your pizza choice, of course, <laughs> all those important details, so it's all right there. And you guys really make this into a big party. I understand that there's a theme as well. Yes, this okay. year it's Hawaiian, <laughs> so, you know, all this wonderful winter weather that we've been having, it'll be kind of nice to put on some sunblock and your Hawaiian lays and a pair of shorts or something, and just come out and have some fun. Okay, once again, it is Bowl for Kids, and it is happening on March 27th. Um, I understand you want the money in a little bit early. You're changing that up this year. Yes, this year we've we've decided to try and alleviate some of the, the behind-the-scenes chaos a little bit of that night so that the staff, we can be out and we can be thanking the public because, again, right. we appreciate their, their support. So this year we've decided to have all of the registrations and funds in the week prior. Okay. All of that is explained on the website, though, so that it's it's all up front and, and everything. So again, we can just come back and we can enjoy and we can be part of it too because it is so much fun. Okay, well Sandy's going to stick around with me here on the show. We're actually going to bowl a few frames. I think we need to practice for bowl for <laughs> kids. Up. So stick around for that. We're going to find out where those funds go here in our city, how they benefit families, and a little bit more about Big Brothers Big Sisters. Stick around here on Go Southern Alberta. Well, once again, we're up at Panorama Lanes. I'm joined by Sandy Grass, who is the Executive Director of Big Brothers Big Sisters Medicine Hat. Sandy, we talked about Bowl for Kids, which is coming up March 27th, but now I want to talk a little bit about where the funds go in our community, because you said they all stay here in Medicine Hat. That's right. All of the money that we raise stays right here to help us support the families and the children and the youth in our community. Big Brothers Big Sisters, like I said, has been here for 40 years. 
I don't know if people know though that we have several different programs. Okay. We've got the community program, which is kind of the one that everybody sort of identifies the most with Big Brothers Big Sisters. They're the ones that you see sort of on the commercials where people are out enjoying hockey games, tigers, all that kind right. of fun stuff. But we've also got some other programs that are really neat and really exciting. We've got our in-school mentoring program where mentors come into the schools, they sit down with their match once one on one during school hours once a week just during school so when okay. there's summer holidays it's their time off all that kind of stuff then we've got another one that's super exciting it's teen mentoring we've expanded that one that one's seen hundred and fifty percent growth in the wow. last year Wow! and that's where high school teenagers volunteer their time this is done out of school hours they're just volunteering to help out kids and they're matched one-on-one -on -one with kids elementary school kids and they do all kinds of activities it's so exciting and so much fun we've seen nothing but positive things from it so we've got that then we've got our game on and go girls programs which are a little bit different because they're group mentoring and they're shorter terms they're about eight eight or nine weeks there's lots of opportunities we help lots and lots of kids last year in 2014 we had over 9,000 volunteer hours wow. of people from the community help out support and we helped over a hundred families and a hundred kids in Medicine Hat so it's just so exciting and it's so rewarding to be a part of that so again I would just want to say thank you to the community of Medicine Hat for supporting us that's why Bowl for Kids is so important so that we can can continue that. That is so cool. So tell me a little bit about why these programs are so important and, and how they benefit families and kids. What, what are some of the things that you see in, in the kids that you're working with? You know what, it's really interesting. There's been a lot of research done on the benefits of programs like Big Brothers Big Sisters. Okay. There's always that warm fuzzy thing where you just know you're making a difference. When a child comes, typically they have to be from a family that's missing an adult role model. Okay. So a lot of our families are single parents. Um, a lot of them just don't have a lot of opportunities in a lot of ways. And so what they need is they just need a friend. Mm -hmm. They just need somebody there to spend some time with them, hang out with them, listen to them, just share their experiences, go for walks. We've got in-school mentors that plant flowers at schools. We've got ones that go for snowshoeing when there's snow. <laughs> We've got, it's just exciting. The possibilities are endless. So you really make a difference that way. We have lots of schools that approach us that say, you know what, we've got this, this child that's struggling in school. Can you help them have a more positive experience at school? So then the in-school mentoring program that I was talking about, we see lots of benefits that way where a child School is a little bit challenging for them, but okay. then all of a sudden they've got this really great experience and so that the day of their, their match, they're excited and they're right. invigorated awesome. and they're, they're thrilled to be there. Research is showing though the long-term effects of our programs. Recently there was a great big study done specifically on Bi Big Brothers Big Sisters of Canada, which is exciting because most research comes out of the States, and this one was done specific to Canada. And they looked at the benefits, the long-term benefits of Big Brothers Big Sisters, and they're finding the results of participating in our programs are long-standing. Okay. Typically for every dollar invested in Big Brothers Big Sisters has a social rate of return of between 18 and 23 dollars wow. in the future. And what that looks at is future employment, the status of that employment, continued education versus dropping out, philanthropy, people that go through our programs typically volunteer more hours when they're adults. They volunteer more dollars. They, Because their employment is higher, they have a little bit more disposable income. So there's a lot. There's the social returns and then there's also the wonderful long-standing relationships that you hear of people Often I hear of people that, you know, so-and-so, I was their big sister when they were 10 years old and they invited me to their wedding. And, and so these relationships last a lifetime. So there's a lot of benefits to them. Unreal. And it just takes such a simple act, listening to the kid and being with them, just being present, you know, exactly. kind of filling that gap. How can people get involved if they want to? You know what? It's super simple. You can just give us a call, 527-6640, go on to our website, www.bbba.
cs.medhat.ca and just come and ask, talk to us. We've got different programs. We've got other opportunities. If you don't want to, if that's too much of a commitment and you want to help out, we've got Conquer the Cooley coming up that we need volunteers. We've got golf tournaments, all kinds of things that just one-offs if people want to help out, and but they don't want the commitment of a huge mentor. That's fine. That's okay. We need everyone. Um, so yeah, so there's, there's all kinds of things. All right. Well, our community is definitely making a difference. This is unbelievable. Once again, Sandy Grass with Big Brothers Big Sisters. Bull for Kids is coming up March 27th. Stay tuned. We have more coming up here on Ghost Southern Alberta. Well, that is our show for today. Thank you so much to Sandy Grass with Big Brothers Big Sisters for coming and telling us all about the programming that they do here in our community and in particular about their event coming up again. It's March 27th. It's Bowl for Kids. And as you saw with Sandy and myself, this is for anybody. If you're not a good bowler like us, you're more than welcome to join. If you need some more information, you can go onto their website while you're online. If you need any more information about anything that we're doing here at Shaw TV, we're on Facebook, Shaw TV Medicine Hat. We're also on Twitter at Shaw TV The Hat. Thank you again for joining us today. We'll see you next time. I'm going to get emails and people critiquing my form. Oh, <laughs> Like I said, anyway.